<laughs> now that I'm done with this David Fincher essay, I can't wait to put it out and see what people think of it. Hey, uh, bad news, kid. Who are you? So I ran the numbers on uh, Reddit, and uh, people disagree with you. I mean, but I can't just be swayed by public opinion. I, I have to do what I think, right? I know, I know, but you know what a controversial take did for us last time. Yeah, just do what he said, man. Who's that? Oh, that? That's him, boy. He's like, regular you only serve for comedic <laughs> relief. I know, I know. I should make this video the way I want, right? Just remember, oh. public appeal is the most important thing right now. So, you're kind of in a rock and a hard place. Himbo Hay does make a pretty good point. In business, Hay did have those spreadsheets. What to do, what to do. So, the question that we're posing today is, is David Fincher in auteur? And to answer that, first we have to examine the definition. Now, this is one that has been disputed for years. It's kind of a contentious term. The definition of an auteur is an artist, usually a film director, who applies a highly centralized and subjective control to many aspects of a collaborative creative work. In other words, a person is the equivalent of the author of a novel or a play just for films. Now, I'm sure you hear this and you think the same thing I do, that this undermines so many people's works, and just to give it to a definitive director is kind of a slap in the face to say the editor of the project, or the cinematographer, or the actors. And you would be right, and that's why it's a little bit of a controversial word in the first place. Examples of auteurs are pretty simple. Michael Bay, you think explosions. Aaron Sorkin, you think lawyers on coke. Wes Anderson, you think symmetrical and pastel colors. Tarantino, you think white people saying the n-word. There's a list of things. This originally originated because of Hitchcock and how, how much of a control on set he had. Now, examples of non-auteurs is a little bit difficult and this is the more disputed section. Now, clear examples are Sidney Lumet, Steven Soderbergh, and even Ron Howard. Now, just for the sake of it, let's throw out a quick misconception that I often see with the word auteur that I even thought at one point. You hear something like auteur and you're not really sure about it, so you just think, oh, that's probably a good director, I guess. That's not the case. Bad directors can be auteurs, the aforementioned Michael Bay. Another example is Tim Burton. He still has a very, very specific style, but Tim Burton isn't your upper echelon director. My simple rule for if someone is an auteur or not, and this is really, really simplifying it to be fair, is if you can easily parody that work in say a YouTube video or an SNL skit, more than likely they are an auteur. For instance, if you were picturing a Hitchcock parody, uh, then you can probably get a little bit of suspense, Cary Grant, all that good stuff. If you were picturing a Wes Anderson as a horror movie, guess what? That's been done because it's pretty simple to do. You know the little boxes you're checking for those unique styles. Now, my case here for David Fincher is that is definitely not evident. I mean, you couldn't go to SNL and say, hey, uh, Mank's coming out soon, so you gotta do David Fincher makes a comedy. They wouldn't know necessarily where to start besides maybe the color grade, how Fincher normally leans to a little bit more of a washed color. And also another key element of Fincher is that he loves to use and hide digital effects in all of his films, but because he hides them so well, that's not necessarily something you're noticing. You're not supposed to notice it. And this whole auteur theory is kind of silly, just in the whole entirety of it. But people need and want someone to award all the credit to. That's why in sports, we don't have a best team award. We have the most valuable player, best executive, or even best coach. I mean, there was a whole entire documentary on who deserved what amount of credit for the six rings the Chicago Bulls won, when in actuality, yes, the, the Bulls won it. Everybody deserves credit, good for them. To give Michael Jordan all the credit, to call him the auteur of the Chicago Bulls, if you will, it would be dismissive of all these great individuals that came together to make a truly stellar team. But back to Fincher, and specifically, is Fincher an auteur? Now, I mentioned the Reddit comments because I posted this and I thought it wasn't really a hot take. 
I think that David Fincher masks his style and suppresses it. When I think of Fight Club, I think of its author, Chuck Palahniuk, and that source material. When I think of The Social Network, it's easily Aaron Sorkin's film. You know when you hear Aaron Sorkin's dialogue. When I think of Gone Girl, that's a Gillian Flynn script. Now, this is not to say there are elements of Fincher that aren't present in these films. I mentioned the color grade. I mentioned the, the use of digital. But to say that he has one definitive thing that stands out, or many definitive things, no one really brought anything up in the comments to me. I had five separate comments that just replied, uh, I don't think you're right. David Fincher has a clear style. I don't know what you're talking about but didn't explain that clear style. So I'm asking you in the comments, if you think David Fincher is an auteur, by all means, please make your case and make it clear. Because a lot of people were just throwing out, oh, well, David Fincher is meticulous. Uh, David Fincher is purposeful. What filmmaker isn't purposeful with the shots they're doing? To say David Fincher is an auteur because he makes good films or he's good at elevating thrills and suspense, isn't really what an auteur is. And maybe this is because I have the benefit of having seen Mank now. Mank is unlike anything David Fincher has done. And someone mentioned that I brought up how David Fincher has done things like Fight Club 7, Social Network, Mank, the freaking curious case of Benjamin Button. All of these different styles and different tones in his films, there's not one thing that connects them. But as people mentioned, David Fincher has done a lot of thrillers. Of course. Now, he's also done a lot of other things, and to say he's just a thriller director, I feel like is undermining David Fincher's capabilities as a true chameleon director. So the answer is, David Fincher is not an auteur, but this is just my opinion. An auteur needs to be something that is viewed as opinionated. In fact, I think most people are pretty cool with the idea of throwing out auteur theory. For the most part, I think everyone is kind of over the idea that one person who was in charge of a project deserves all the credit of being the author of something. And just to be clear, auteurs don't have to be directors. I mentioned Sorkin, of course, is an obvious one, but actors, surprisingly, and again, doesn't have to be a good thing, Dwayne The Rock Johnson is an auteur actor. You know when you're seeing a Dwayne The Rock Johnson movie by his buff, tight shirt, possibly Kevin Hart, and his eyebrow raise. All of these are common in Dwayne The Rock Johnson's movies. So, in a way, Dwayne The Rock Johnson is our only... It's not true. That's impossible. So that's gonna be the video. If you disagreed with me, then by all means, I'd actually love to hear people talk about this more. I just wasn't getting clear feedback on why David Fincher was exactly an auteur. I think people just really like Fincher. And look, I'm not saying this as a negative. I once thought this too, but they view auteur as a positive word and they think, oh, well, David Fincher's one of my favorite directors. Of course he's an auteur. So I'd love to hear back from everybody. Thank you again for checking out this video. Also, we're doing a small YouTuber awards 2020. And if you know any YouTubers that you would like to nominate, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments below as well, or just reach out to us. Uh, you can DM me on Twitter for more information about that. I'll have it posted there and we'll have a subreddit that'll probably be linked in the description. Thank you again for checking out this video. Later haters. Later.